Hello and good day, third year high school. So this is me again, your English teacher, Habi. And how are you today? So I hope you're doing good, great, and fine. Okay, so today we will learn about eight part of speech. Okay, again, eight part of speech. Okay, so what is or what are the eight part of speech? So we have here. So we have number one, noun, and we have number two, pronoun, number three, adjective, number four, verb, number five, adverb, number six, preposition, number seven, conjunction, and number eight, interjection. Okay, so what, what is this teacher? So this is the eighth part of speech. And here I am going to show you the definition, definition or the meaning, and example. So I'm going to show you the example too. Okay, first we have noun. Again, noun. So names of people, places, things, animals, or ideas. So what do you mean about this one, teacher? So names of people. So names of people. So example, we have here Alan. Peter, teacher, so that is name of people, or even me, Habi, Narirat, or Bia, or Leo, so that is people. Okay, places, so places, so we have here the malls, Tesco, Robinson, Chantaburi, Bangkok, so that is the places, or your home, your school is a places. And next, things, so what do you mean about things, teacher? So things, we have your mask, your phone, your notebook. So that is things. For the example here, we have car, pen. So that is things and toys. So animals. So animals, what is animals, teacher? So animals, we have your uh, pin, a uh, cow, a uh, dog, a cat or pig. So that is an animals or snake. And idea. So what is ideas, teacher? So that is the one, your friendship, your relation, uh, relationship, and your religion. So that is the example of ideas. So number two, we have pronoun. Again, pronoun takes the place of nouns. Okay, so this one takes the place of nouns. So it means it replaces the place of the noun. So who is the nouns teacher? So that is, once again, so that is your teacher, your friends, your mom, your dad, and you is a noun. Okay, so we have example here, I, so you, we, they, so they are the plural pronoun. And next, she, he, it. So this one here is singular, a singular pronoun or subject. So me, us, them, him for boy, boy, so this one is for the boy, her is for the girl, and his for the boy again, and this, those. So that is the example of pronoun. Okay, so when I say uh, Leo, so Leo, so example Leo, so Leo, so I can put here his, he, or I can see, I can say his. Okay, so he or his because Leo is a boy or him because him is for the boy. Okay, but if I say here uh, Narirat, so na, na ri, okay, Rirat. So I can replace this one for the uh, word she. Okay, Narirat she or her. Okay, so because she or her is for the girl. Okay, so don't forget, he or she. Okay, so next we have adjectives. Again, adjectives. Describe, modifies, or give more information about noun or pronoun. So it means it give. From the word give, so it describe or uh, give, um, contribute a more details information details about noun so who is the noun again so that is you that is your mom your dad chantaburi your school and your phone so that is noun 
or pronoun. So what is pronoun? So we discuss here, she, he, him, her. So that is the pronoun I, you, and it. So that is the part of pronoun. So example here, so tall, small, handsome, cute, uh, big, happy, young, fun, pretty, ugly, dark, white, and fat. So example, hubby is fat. Okay, so me. So your teacher hubby. Okay, so hubby is fat. Okay, hubby is fat. Okay, hubby is fat. Okay, hubby. Okay. Hubby is hubby is fat. Okay, so what is hubby? So he is fat. Okay, so fat. So I'm fat. So that is here. Fat is the adjective. So that is the adjectives. Okay, fat. So if I say ha, uh, bia. Okay, bia. Okay, bia is cute. Okay, so what how what is Bia? So he is cute, okay? So you must ask how about for Bia? He is cute, okay? Uh, cute, okay, cute boy, okay. Or cute boy, okay, so what is the boy? Cute boy. Okay, so what is the boy? Cute. Okay, so it gives more details. Ah, okay, so that is Bia, the cute boy. Okay, next. Verb. Okay, action words or show shows action or state of being. So what do you mean about this one, teacher? Action words. So that is the one that you, uh, action, it means move. So when you move, it shows action or when you do something. So that is the one we call action. So example, you speak. Now I'm speaking, so I do action. So that is verb. Run. Now you do lesson. So if you lesson, so that is an action. And watch. So if you watch, watching, so that is an action. Walk and eat. This one, teacher, what is this? Is and are. So is, are, it means that is the be verb for the singular and plural. So we have is for singular and we have are. Because the verb have a lot of types. But here we discuss the basic, okay? Basic meaning and example for the verb. Okay, next. Adverb. Adverb. Okay, describe or modifies verb, adjectives, and other adverbs. So here it gives more, uh, again, more details and strong, uh, make the sentence more uh, qualified that, okay, so example, um, handsome, handsome, so you put very very handsome so example here he is already i'm uh, he is already handsome but you want him to you want this uh, word to be more uh, stronger okay so you put here very you see very handsome so you put here very because um, adverb very a uh, very is part of the adverb so example uh, here so we have slow here we have the slow but you put li Okay, he is already already slow, so that is the slow is the uh, root word or the base form. So, but you put li, so it means very slow. So this one we are very and always. So example late. So if you put oh, okay, he is already a late person, but you put you put the late uh, more make it more stronger. So it make it more uh, have a detail. Detailed, so you must put always. So it means always late. He is uh, always late. He is always late. Okay, so quiet from the quiet word quiet. So we put li. So it gives more details. Oh, he, that is very very quiet and well and happily. So that is really happily. Okay, and early. So early. Okay. Next, we have preposition. Preposition. Shows the relationship of noun and pronoun to another part of the sentence. So it means show relationship. It means so it uh, it's have a relation or it's have it's a it's a combination or partner. Okay, so for the of the noun and pronoun. So it shows 
the relationship of a noun and pronoun. So it means uh, it makes or connect. So relationship, it means connect. So it connects to each other like, uh, okay, so example here, Leo. Okay, so example, Leo. Leo is under the tree. Okay, so you must ask, where is Leo? So where is Leo? Okay, under. So under is a preposition. So preposition uh, class, so it means, uh, sometimes it means uh, location. Okay, so don't forget. Sometimes is a location or your position. Okay, position. Okay, so when you have your position uh, around, okay, around example position in your school or when you are in the tree, so where are you? So example, I'm asking you, where are you? So, or where is Leo? Leo is in, in the school. Okay, school. So in, so it have here in, in the school. So, ah, okay, so you know, where is Leo? In, so it means he is inside the school. Okay, so he, he is inside or around the school, in. Okay, so preposition in, we have the example here. On, at, from, by, with, near, or between, about, or under. So it shows a location, okay? Location or position from the word pre. Position, so from the word position, so it shows position. Of where is the subject? Where is the noun or pronoun? Or you can put, if you like to be pronoun, he is. Okay, you change in pronoun, so he is. So he is in the school. So, it shows relationship. So, it's connect. Okay. He is in the school. Okay. So, Leo is in the school. Next, conjunction. Okay. Conjunction. So, what is conjunction, teacher? So, join two or more words, ideas, phrases, and closes together. Okay. So, we have here example and or but because so unless since F for rather than. So, sample here. Narirat, Bia, and Leo. So, we have and here. And Leo. Will have a good grades if they. So, they study, if they study their exam. Okay, so, if they study their exam. So, if we don't have if here. So, if I take out the F. Okay, so, so sorry. So, if I take out the F and end here. So it makes like this, so and so it's make two sentence and this one here. Yeah. Okay, so Narirat Bia Leo will have a good grades. They study their exam their exam. So it makes an infinite infinite. Okay, so infinitive okay word. So it's like not sure. So what? So they have a good grades. So what? They study hard, so what? So it's like I have a question mark. So it okay, but if you Make it in a one whole sentence. So, Bia, Narirat, Bia, and Leo will have a good grades. If, so if, so reason why they will have a good grades. If, so what they will do if they study their exam. Uh, so, it's more clear. Okay, if they study their exam. Uh, okay, they can have a good grades if they study their exam. Okay. If so, the way here, so it means it makes a reason if or what the way they will get a good grades. So if, if they study hard. Okay, next, interjection. So this is more easy. So expresses a strong feeling or emotion. So if uh, for interjection, so you must have here a clue. So it's have a exclamatory and exclamatory point. Okay, exclamatory point. So it's up here. You see, I highlight here if you see the color green. So wow, bravo, yoohoo, ouch. Okay, oh, so it's like have a tone. Okay, hey, ah, okay, aha, omg. Okay, so it's have like a tone and it's have a feeling when you say the words. Okay, so that is interjection. So here. We have your eight part of speech sentence and we answer this one here. So, Leo and Narira today. And last time I mean Bia. So, Bia, Narira, Chaya, and Leo answering this one. So, today uh, Leo is answering this one with Narira. Yeah, so 
I so next uh, we have your worksheet here so this is the one you need to do so this is your worksheet so class so that is the eighth part of speech lesson that we have so I hope you understand something Thank you